Everybody, it's Evict Us. Time to eat and run here. The Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Monday and happy April 1st, everybody. I hope your Easter weekends were awesome for those of you who celebrated it. I know I mine was because I went over to Mama Victor's house. We had we had all kinds of crazy good food. That's how this is how Mama Victor do. So we are waiting for another video across 3,000 likes as uh, usual after an, a holiday weekend, especially. But I know that the mosh pit. Be coming on strong this week as we go on into the brand new week and brand new month. Here's your meme of the day brought to you this time around by Arsenic Poisoning. And no, it's not a mosh pet of the day, even though we had plenty of new ones posted on this Invictus subreddit. Top threat was Blue Champion. Larry had nowhere to hide. Yep. Yep. Larry Jr. just getting farmed over and over again in that Mercurius episode. And uh, I'm glad that people have been kind of adopting that uh, farming method. It is very, very effective at not only getting like infinite hearts, but also just like in general for you want for anyone wanting to farm like anything in the game uh c day is gonna be mike lima mike zulu bravo hotel november 6. i just swore we i feel like we've had this seed before uh we're starting out with polydactyl and freaking jello hey, you ain't gotta you ain't gotta convince me i'm i'm here for a game Starting off with jello here great tears rate decent damage i guess i mean it is it is below three but i mean 2.99 come on come on don't don't be that don't be that one guy don't we don't we don't want the one guy in in the comments you're like Zinvicta uh says 1.0 movement speeds fine 0.99 is horrible movement speed uh. yeah we, we we get it i don't want to go into the curse room right now because obviously i don't want to go down to one hp um uh, but having jello is a good start here especially with us having a decent amount of dps uh despite our i mean our our damage is not horrible um it's just not great but our tears rate definitely makes up for that and I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get uh, some bombs here. Maybe if we get a red heart or two that drops after a room clear, we'll be able to uh, go into that curse room. We'll, we'll, we'll see. But obviously, I'm, I'm pretty excited about a Jello start. Jello, of course, is one of my favorite space war items and has really emerged as one of the premier carry items that you can get in the game. Even with bad stats, Jello just, it, it literally just doubles your DPS. And it's so, so good. Um, you do have to be careful with Jello, like shooting things into the path of Isaac, like, for example, right now, where uh, Gemini is, uh, you know, in front of, uh, of Jello, and he's currently firing, which is propelling Gemini, because that's how physics work. Um, the goal here is to try to keep Jello, try to keep Jello, like, not doing that. If we could actually kill little Gemini here, that'd be great. Somehow we've managed to DPS both Gemini down the exact same time. So we get Glass Eye, which is going to give us a nice little damage upgrade. We did not get any hearts, though, um, which kind of makes going into the Curse Room again a little bit iffy. I mean, even if we got Diplopia, I would not I would not trade Diplopia for Jello. So, yeah. Um, would love to get that bomb if possible. We'll check over here real quick, and it's going to be a whole lot of nothing over here with Ministros. But I'm glad that we at least have over 3.0 damage, 3 damage now, sitting at 4.32 thanks to Glass Eye. Very, very good good start here. Um, we did get a half red heart, so at least it's going to allow me to go to one and a half hearts after going in and out of the curse room. Let's see if we can get anything of note in here. Probably not. Go ahead and use Jello just to help us clear up these spiders here. So, yeah, very strong start. I do I do love me some Jello. Go ahead and ignore that. Polydactyl, by the way, is our passive item that we started with, or our eternal item, and that's going to allow us to hold two consumables at once, like a pill, a card, etc., etc. You know the score by now. Um, very strong, very, very good at opening pretty much any any part of an opening uh, phase of a run. You're going to be able to to really get some good gains out of uh, out of being able to to combine tarot cards. Being able to to have like you know multiple pills in case you do have PhD, which we don't obviously, but you know, all in all, all in all, it's a solid start. It'd be a lot worse. That's for dang sure. As we get rolling here, going on to last week's question of the episode. This one was sent in. Uh, I apologize in advance. I'm not going to say your name right. I'm going to say Stinven Lankveld. Lankveld? 9893 said, uh, We talked about at length the best synergies on this channel, but what do you think is the biggest two-part anti-synergy between items, trinkets, and characters? Personally, I think the Tainted Keeper and Cursed Penny is quite up there, but I'd love to know your thoughts. 
So this is an interesting question because it's not something I ever really think about, like the absolute worst anti-synergies, right? Um, I can think, for example, like, you know, any 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 character in Isaac that, that can basically not have HP, for example, of the Lost with like, you know, Maggie's, Maggie's Faith, um, that's pretty useless, but it's not really an anti-synergy. An anti-synergy would imply like something that that cancels out something else. Ooh, I freak up yet? Um, and in that case, it's hard for me to really think on the fly. I, I would have to I would have to give some thought to to that. Um, it's a great question. Certainly, with Tainted Keeper and Cursed Penny, obviously you're gonna be you're, you're gonna be going you're you're gonna be teleporting all over the place. Um, which is pretty awful, I gotta admit. Um, you know, I could say something like, I, I I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of, I'm, I'm trying to think of anything. Not really, again, not really an anti synergy, but blue baby and like HP upgrades. Like they're still kind of technically count as soul heart, so you can't really fault that. Let's see if we can get ourselves a soul heart just to protect us from the devil deal, and we are able. Very nice. Um, glass cannon and, uh, um, glass cannon and, uh, sharp plug comes to mind. Um, yeah, there's just, there's so, there's so many bad combinations out there that would just ruin an entire run. Um, what, what, God, I, I, I really, I, I can't think of any, <laughs> the question is, is too good for me to, to sit here and think of one on the fly. Without being like, uh, 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 so I don't want to, I don't want to vomit all over the commentary right now, like I've, as I've already done. Um, but post your post your thoughts for that for those anti synergies now on this on this video, and I'll read them uh, on uh, next week's episode because that that's something that I definitely will uh, would love to to hear your thoughts on. And maybe that would jumpstart my brain and actually thinking of anti synergies because again, on the top of my head, like if you ask me to name like name 20 Metallica songs right now. Like, I probably couldn't do it while I'm doing other stuff. But give me some time, and I definitely will be able to, obviously. Okay, maybe maybe 20 is a little bit... That, that's a little bit too easy. Maybe, maybe like, 50 Metallica songs. I'm not going to sit here and name 50 Metallica songs, because I definitely could, but it would be... There'd be lots of oohs and uhs in there. A double red champion Monstro 1, which is... They go by the way of the Dodo here, thanks to Jello. The movement speed upgrade, which is something we absolutely needed. <sighs> With Jello, Damocles becomes interesting. Heartbreak will not. Heartbreak, I don't think, actually stops Damocles. I don't trust it in this spot here. While yes, we do have while we do have Jello, um, which would help us with the survival of Damocles here, we don't necessarily have enough power for me to feel comfortable taking Damocles. And given the fact that like today is April Fool Day, I don't necessarily want to test my luck. Uh, even though technically, yes, I'm not recording this on on April Fool's days. We can go inside of the devil deal here. Now, if we end up getting an eight, somehow getting a, a extra life somewhere on this floor, that I will take Damocles. Like nine lives in those chests would have been very nice, especially with, the, with it being our second guppy item would have been great. Um, yeah, anti synergies, man. I just I, I can't think of any. As soon as I'm done recording, I'm gonna I'm gonna think of like ten. So if someone if someone wants to do do me the the favor here and, and post the anti synergies thread uh, down below, I will uh, I will pin that one and uh, let people let people see it. Because I'm very curious to see what kind of anti synergies people come up with. I would say maybe Greed's Gullet and Greed's Eye. The Eye of Greed would be one. Um, Blood Rites 
The Lost? <laughs> you know, Sharp Plug, The Lost? I don't know. IV Bag as a Lost. That sort of stuff. Now, those are those are true anti-synergies right there. Obviously, we've got to be careful in here. We don't want to leave this room because we don't want to respawn all these dang bomb flies everywhere. One of my least favorite rooms here in this in in all of Isaac is this room right here. If all the leapers jump the same way, which they hardly ever do, but when they do it, man, is it annoying. They will they will it's just a moving wall of damage that's coming right for you. The seven cents now, it's good enough to buy a half price premium item. Man, we've gone the wrong way. Alright. Alright. So obviously with yesterday's episode it was a it was a very it was a very on brand on point uh, Easter run with Lazarus. I think that uh, I think that you know the fact that it landed on on Lazarus was was pretty funny. I didn't even really register it at the time because obviously I didn't record that on Easter Sunday, um, which you know I I think that there there's sometimes like okay here here's the thing with Easter. Ooh. Easter is not really one of my favorite holidays. The only reason why I don't mind Easter is because obviously, like, I get to go over to Mama Victa's house and she create, she makes these huge, huge, huge dinners or really the like super early dinners. It's basically like pre Thanksgiving meal, pre Thanksgiving Thanksgiving, right? Um, and on top of that, Mama Victa always, e even, even at, uh, <laughs> even me as an adult, now Mama Victa still makes me an Easter basket. Which I, which is always like, it's just always so, so awesome. Mama Victa always takes care of her kids. And uh, for me, like, it's, it's always just comforting, you know? There we go. Got, had, had to get rid of that jerk up there. But yeah, Easter, Easter Sunday is not really something that like, I really, I, I really pay attention to all that much. Yeah, we'll take card reading here. Uh, but don't don't tell Mama Victor that now. She'll she'll freaking crucify me if I do that. No pun intended. No no theme intended there. Um, but yeah, it's just a, it's kind of like one of those one of those holidays. It's just like eh. You know, obviously I understand the meaning and everything behind it. I mean, I did go to I did go to Catholic school for ten years as a kid. That was a. Uh, that was definitely a a very very uh, strange time, to say the least. But I digress. We don't we don't we don't get into such topics here on on this channel here. Because if there's one game that that has nothing to do with religion, it's definitely the Binding of Isaac. No no no. Not to be confused with the Bible story, the Binding of Isaac. Come on now. That was that one was my that one was 100% on me, my bad Eden. So what I was hoping to do there was I was hoping that that grub would not charge north like that, and I was hoping it was just going to bypass us. Uh, see that one did a fake charge. If you look very closely at the animation, sometimes sometimes grubs will do these fake charges, where they'll seem like they're they're not going to charge, and they'll do like their little like squishy like bouncy thing. And then actually, it's a it's a full on full charge. So you cannot, don't trust the animations in this game. I think that most people pretty much know that. That red champion almost got me, but I was paying attention. That was like the worst time for that vortex, the repel champion here. Super secret is probably here. No. Oh. Okay, so I don't I don't know what the super secret room is. Now, obviously, with lead pencil, this is going to give us a huge damage bonus with uh, us combining our shots with Jello. A Jello doesn't actually he doesn't actually proc um, a lead pencil, but this is more shots on shots. So I am going to take the HP upgrade, and uh, yeah, we'll just hold on to the to the soul of, soul of Eden. All right, I blow my nose real quick.
Allergies, man. Uh, let's go. Let's go into the item room. Save ourselves a key. We get friend finder, which I'm not gonna take. Yeah, give me that. Okay, I'll take Robo Baby. I'm fine with Robo Baby. I know, I know. Anti followers and Victa taking a follower. Or what? What is this world come to? Like I gave, I gave some pretty good, some pretty good examples of how I would improve some of the transformations. I liked them anyway. Not everyone's gonna like them, and that's okay. The world would be a boring place if everyone thought the same. We almost got a red portal there with how <laughs> how close the yellow portal took us to the boss room. I mean, I'm down for it. Uh, we don't need bombs. Maybe there's a greed fight in here that we can capitalize on. There is. Allergies have been going nuts. Even like, even with there being no dust in my house at all, my my allergies are still like no, no. There's there's way, way too much pollen outside for us to be comfortable right now. Like you, you know that you know that thing on your face, the thing with two with two nostrils on it, that thing. Yeah, just don't even plan on using that anymore. Just consider that gone. So, hope you like dry mouth and and being a mouth breather for a while. For a split second, I thought that was a brimstone bomb. Is about to be very sad. Another tears up here, which is great, going up to four tears per second, and then we get succubus and satanic bible. We could tap this demon judgment down to down to a half heart. I know we have red hearts on the floor. We get whore Babylon, okay. Definitely take it. Um, oh man, Satanic Bible over Jello. I'm gonna stick with Succubus. I'm gonna leave the Satanic Bible. Now, this is gonna activate Horror Babylon, and that's fine. Uh, we sh what we should do, actually, before we go to the next floor, let's get a full charge on Jello in case we do get a red portal. Great snipe there by Robo Baby. Okay, 17 cents. I'm down with this. We could go in the curse room uh, for a guppy item, but I'm hoping the devil dude just gives us one. Okay, so obviously we're going to take the express train right to the boss. We do have to be very careful here with us being on uh, 1 HP, especially with us going up against champion bosses so often. I'm not sure why this is happening, but I don't like it at all. Get another HP upgrade. But hey, it gets us out of lethal range anyway. We did not get a deal with the devil, obviously. So the important thing about this room is don't activate both of the screaming fetuses when you first enter this room. I notice how I didn't go too far to get too close to this one here, but I also didn't retreat far enough to activate this one at the same time. Otherwise, you literally have to have flying other, or, or you're just dead. Not dead, but you're going to get hit. Um, we'll take more options, which is going to give us a second item in our item room, which is only going to be good for one other floor other than this one. Uh, Would have been great with Damocles, obviously, but... I'm glad that we didn't take Damocles at this point. Now, if we end up getting enough, uh, if we get enough HP, as far as I can't reach that, if we get enough HP here, I will maybe, I will maybe, maybe, maybe be able to, um, No, wait, let's let's go in the cursory for it. What I was going to say is that we could just walk over these spikes and grab those 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 sacks, but I'm just not going to do that. Also, I got completely debated by the by the boss room, thinking that that's where I needed to go, and turns out it's not. That pencil, by the way, is going. If you're wondering where those that shot right there is coming from, try baby. 
Um, it's coming from lead pencil. So lead pencil, every 15 shots that you do is going to send out a monstrous lung esque type shot. It doesn't affect your your tears rate in any way, shape, or form. It's just extra damage. Um, and obviously, I'm going to take number one to max out our tears rate, which is going to kill our range, but definitely worth it. Um, especially combined with Jello's DPS, and if we stand in the Succubus aura, that's going to be a huge boost. Huge boost. Now all we need really is just more raw damage, and we are good. We are golden. Speaking of golden. It is hard passing up the Satanic Bible in this spot, but once you see stuff like this, like what Jello can do for you, and know that you're still going to get boss items to drop, it's a it's the right choice to hold on to them. So we're really really working backwards here for this dang first room. I will go back and get that lucky penny in a second, obviously, but right now concern is just getting to the curse room. Kind of sacrificing boss rush here, but it's not that big of a deal because, like, we wouldn't have gone to boss rush anyway without having a full card previously. And, yep. So that was definitely totally worth it. 100% worth it. Secret room can't be there, obviously. I'm pretty sure it's there, but... Another thing we could do. This is this is just a, This is just an idea. One thing we could do is we could deliberately take damage on fires and stuff to see if we can get Gimpy to proc. This is something that you've not really seen me do all that often, um, but it is possible. It's definitely a strat. Now, whether or not it works or not is, you know, obviously up to luck, but lucky us, it didn't work, so there you go. Get to activate Horde Babylon. Plenty of other red hearts. Obviously, only do that if you have HP just sitting on the ground um, and you're not doing anything with don't do it. Don't do it. It's all willy nilly. That's, that's not, not a smart move. That, that is not condoned by by Sinvicta. Trying to generate a little bit of extra HP here. Strength card and Emperor card. Well, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna use Jello to give me that sack here. Maybe we'll get a ear bomb. A teleport card. Well, no, it's it's too too late now. There's our hero fun card, reverse justice card, double emperor, which I'm definitely down for. Nice, got an HP upgrade here with crack jacks. Get our keys back, very good. Spade's gonna give us even more keys. Uh, where can we turn stuff into keys around here? There's plenty of keys in here, but don't necessarily want to turn those into a keys. Because I mean, I do, but like, I don't want to. I don't want to walk over spikes for them. What's up here? A couple of keys. We take Burt Penny as well. Burt Penny is going to give us a chance to get a bomb after picking up coins. And I think we just take double emperor here. Yeah, we can take the we can take the golden horseshoe. Maybe, maybe it a proc and give us an extra item in our next item room. A very long floor, but uh, yeah, we're leaving we're leaving very 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 strong compared to what we were. Okay, so I'm not going to go into the red portal. Otherwise, we have no way of getting out. And we get Luckfoot. It's 
say another another anti synergy would be PhD and starter deck. <laughs> Uh, that could be considered an anti synergy. I've, I'm still this entire time. I'm try. I've been trying to figure out like what what really would be anti synergies in the game. You know, some people depending on depending on your playstyle, some people would look at Ipecac and uh, my reflection as an anti synergy for sure. But that's just more, that's not really anti synergy, more just a dangerous combo, you know. I would, but I do love these kind of brain teasers. You know, people have been asking me to play Isaac Doles or whatever the heck they're called, um, where you basically just guess an item of the day and that's it. And I keep telling people like it's a cool idea, like it, like I I would love to do stuff stuff like that, except that. I don't like having it just one a day, you know, like you can't really, it's not really about making content as it is just kind of like, it's, it's not really that fun to me. Like you guess the item or you guess the, you, you guess the item, the actual item or whatever you're of the dolls that you're trying to guess that particular day. And then that's that. And then it's over. Whereas like I, what I would really love to see would be Isaac crossword puzzles. I think those would be a lot of fun. Uh, if someone makes an Isaac crossword puzzle website, hey, you got you got yourself some free advertising right here. I would definitely play the heck out of those. I'm not talking like a. I mean, I would do like a daily crossword if there was like, you know, if there was if there was like ten terms or something like that would be fine. You know, I know that the New York Times have like a mini crossword puzzle and stuff every day, and that's and those are fun. Surprisingly, I'm not too bad at crosswords. I'm not great at them. But every time I I find myself doing them, I'm like, eh, like I'm I don't think I'm smart enough to do any of this. And then I surprisingly get all of them. And it's not trying it's not trying to like be humble or anything. It's just like I, from some of the from some of the descriptions and stuff, I read them at first. I'm like, I, uh, yeah, this is beyond me. I don't have encyclopedic knowledge of like movies or artists or presidents like Ryan does. Thank God too, man. Like I I. I would go insane if my brain operated like his. Just just count me out. Trying to store all that useless information that he has in his brain, no thank you. That double double proc there from uh Gimpy. Yeah, Luckfoot. Hey, full health, that was nice. Gimpy going ham. Metamesis. Practically another. Wow, what is going on here? Gimpy going nuts. And we get the pentagram as well. I tell you what. Gimpy may have just gotten us access to the uh to the sack room now. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We would need a couple more red hearts to drop. For me to consider doing the sack room here. We need we need to come up with a term for the sack room. We call it's, it sounds like a dance almost, like the sack room, the sack room mambo or something. What's a what's a dance that that begins with an S? Sack room swing? No, oh, that sounds a little too dungeony. Sack room, sambo. Is that a is that a dance? Hang on, hang on. Dances that begin that start with X or S. List of dances. Uh oh my God! There's a whole wiki wiki page. There's Sadi Moma, Sagayan, Salagi, Sal Sal Salsa. Why did I not think of that? The sack room salsa. There you go. Spanish mosh pit. High five, high five. There is a there's a dance called the Samba. Not Sambo, but Samba. Sambai, Sammy, Sanding, Sapra, Set Dance, Serpent Dance, Sequence Dance. Uh School Plat Platler. Sarba Shake. Ooh, the Sack Room the Sack Room Shake kinda sounds pretty good too. 
I don't know. You all, you all let me know which, what the name of our new dance is going to be. The Sack Room Salsa or the Sack Room Shake? One of those two. I'm not a dancer. I used to go to clubs and, like, you know, dance in, like, you know, dance clubs and stuff. But not, like, dance dance, you know. Not, like, proper dancing. This is just, like, more like rocking out and you know, drinking and having fun. Friends and stuff. Uh... I do want to let's go play the <coughs> let's go do the sack room salsa now. Ooh, I just thought one the sack room shimmy. Okay, we have our top three: the sack room shimmy, the sack room shake, and the sack room salsa. That's gonna be that's gonna be what from here on out we've we've established it on April first, twenty twenty four. A new meme term for the mosh pit. You guys and gals get to decide on what it's ultimately called. The sack room shake, the sack room salsa, or the sack room shimmy. And no, I'm not going to make a poll because YouTube polls are buggy and weird. It's seven seals, which is in an angel deal because of course it is. Okay. We have to sacrifice one of these soul hearts here, and we get our other soul hearts back. Nice, nice, ooh, nice, ooh, nice, ooh, nice, ooh. You know what? I just got an idea. I just got an idea, y'all. What if? What if we just went straight to land? Uh, where's my full car? My full car was in the, in the room right before mom, right? I bet we can take lamb with this. Even with us having like kind of substandard everything. Except our tears rate. We have double emperor. We can go straight to like literally straight to lamb. Then be on our way for a victory lap. Maybe. <laughs> now I have what if by Creed stuck in my head. What if you get what if you lie? That's the first song I ever taught myself how to play on guitar. We failed a 68% good um, yeah we want more damage here and honestly we don't even need the second emperor card because we can just use it straight up as soon as we go into uh, we'll probably get a red portal anyway so yeah let's do it Let's get rid of no no fuss no muss. Gubby's paw, which will give us more HP. I'd much rather have more HP than I have the occult, even though I have occult is a good damage upgrade. Not what I'm wanting here. And we get rock bottom again. What the heck, dude? Rock bottom has shown up so often lately. I mean, look, I ain't gonna complain about it. But it's kind of weird how it keeps showing up. It's kind of making me making me nervous. Um. Wow. Okay. So we're gonna just have the permanent damage up, not only from Horror Babylon, but also from uh, Succubus. So we don't even need to stand in her aura anymore. Wow. <laughs> Maybe that'd be my next vocal cover. Actually, no, I know what my next vocal cover is going to be. I just haven't done it yet. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, you know, we're doing it. Oh, baby. Second C, nine, bravo, papa, Quebec, Quebec, liar. 
Yeah. Just say, how you doing, little sissy? Long time no see, sissy long legs. See, it's a good day. Great day to start a new month here, sissy. How you been, girl? Where you been at? Did a range upgrade here, thank God. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could get school bag. I'm going to go in the curse room because Gimpy might pay out. And we're also only one away from uh, Guppy. Didn't. Little sissy. More people have been asking about Sissy the spider, like the actual spider that was in the house. Um, again, I, I have no news because I haven't seen her in a couple months now, actually. So, Sissy, I, I am imagining her has, she has moved either to a different, a different spot in the house or is, has moved out. She was a great roommate though. She did her duty. She killed that wolf spider, which was insane. I, I wish by everything that is holy that I would have taken a picture of that. When I vacuumed the, the, the mess that was left behind up, it didn't occur to me until, until the spider was already in the vacuum that I was like, I should have taken a picture of that because no one's going to believe me that this tiny spider killed a wolf spider. Like, it, it was unbelievable. I mean, it, it was pure madness. Sissy the spider arc. What a spider. And it was strange, man. Like, it was really strange how attached I became to that stupid little spider. I did, man. I, I was like, I, I would... I would check in on her just to make sure she was there. Be like, you know, I didn't want to, like, step on her or, like, you know, I was making sure, like, like she was, like, just kind of, I don't know, alive. If we got any soul hearts here, we did not. Uh, we could go. This vault might have some red chests in it. Doesn't. Soul of Azazel, Hagalas, and Ansas. Obviously, with rock bottom, we have, we don't have to worry about any stat downs anymore. Oh my gosh. And, uh, Dry Baby, or not Dry Baby, Contagion is just wiping everything out. Yep, half price entry into the first room is always good. If we get tarot cards, if we get pills or anything, I mean, none of our, none of our stats can go down anymore. It's a rock bottom. This is the third time we've had rock bottom in like four or five episodes. Judge. I'm definitely down for it, but it's kind of alarming. Because I know that this bill is coming. And if we end up hitting TM Trainer Month, then I'm really going to be nervous. Use the answers in here. We did get a planetarium. Uh, yeah. Oh baby, I need that. I need this last poop pile here. Need these two. We'll get, a, we'll get the planetarium in a second. Now, if this is Mercurius, I don't know what's going on at this point. Isaac, the the, the game is 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 trying to make us think that we've got, like, some kind of weird, like, curse of deja vu. Okay, I thought for a second it was Mercurius. I was about to lose my mind. Uh, I mean, yeah, we can take devil card and just use it. It's just going to give us more damage. Chariot card we can use to get into, uh, well, into anything we really don't want to. We need some Yaves, though. And we get Guppy. I don't know why I took Pluto. We were already capped on tears. Hi, baby. We have Guppy now. We have flying and man, oh, man. What a way to start off the new month. I didn't think that this run was really going to be much of anything. And now it's turned into, oh, mama. Turned into Johnny Bravo up in here. 
Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Well, we get permanent red stew now, which is uh, also pretty good. I think the Jason Nader, Jason Nader ra rating is currently rising and rising and rising. Didn't actually mean to use that one. I was trying to use the soul of Azazel. Now this is fun because I actually can't turn right now. Thanks to uh, thanks to the chariot card. So that was just a giant waste. Health up. I've been wanting to do the next vocal cover soon. Um, it's just that with, with my voice and everything, like I, obviously I've got to be real careful with it. And doing the Devin Townsend cover that I did a few months ago was um, axing. I could not have picked a, like a worse song to try to cover just willy nilly like that because like it shredded my voice for a while. I mean, I do, I do vocal warmups and stuff as, as always, but like, it was just, it was very, um, doesn't, this just does not do anything. Literally won't do anything. Um, I don't want to, uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I should have, I should have taken Rod maybe because like we, we've got rock bottom, so we wouldn't have lost any damage. Plus we're just going to win this run anyway. I mean, it's, it's, we're dominating right now. Of course I have it. Um, but yeah, I do, I do vocal warmups and all, all that kind of good stuff, especially when we record and that, that sort of thing. But like that, that cover was not supposed to be anything. If you don't know what I'm talking about, by the way, uh, look for my, just go to my channel and look for, uh, the love cover that I did from strapping young lad and, uh, go check it out and then come back to me and let me know what you think. I was hoping that video would get 5,000 likes because I wanted to do a full-on stu studio version of that. Um, but it never came to fruition, unfortunately. But yeah, I guess technically it still could hit 5,000. Like, it could go viral or something, but I, I doubt that's going to happen. Um, but it definitely inspired me to want to do more vocal covers. Because if there's one thing I've done a lot of, is sing in the car. <laughs> May not be good at it, but I definitely do it. Most useless troll bomb right there. Enjoy your existence there, troll bomb. Wow. Greed just super greed is just super dead. Super secret room is right here, by the way, speaking of super. Hey. Yeah. 73% failure of the deal with the devil. To be expected. Not that it really matters, obviously, because, again, we're just smoking this run at this point. Especially with the razor blades. Yeah. Wow, we are getting some historically hilariously bad devil deals here. First loss. Doesn't really matter. Linger bean. I mean, I guess we can take linger, linger bean. Liquor bean. Not a not a big fan of, of liquor anymore. Liquor is like it's one of those things where like I never really truly enjoyed drinking. Ever really. I was only kind of doing it as like a social thing. Or if I was working. If I was working, then that was another reason why I was like, yeah, I can sit here and just do nothing or just like take part in the party. This Tower card. The tower. HP upgrade here. Agent obviously taking care of everything. Yeah, drinking drinking was never just something that I was like, man, I got I just gotta go for a drink. I talked about it before, but like I've never I've never understood I know I've known many many friends who are just like God, I could use a drink. Like I'm so thirsty. 
better grab a beer. I'm like, man, every single time I've had beer, it's given me dry mouth, a headache, and it doesn't taste good. <laughs> Not to me anyway. You know, like I've drank lots of beer in my time, but like it's, I, it was never something I was like, oh man, I could really go for a beer right now. You know, let, let's put it this way. I, I easily gave up drinking, drinking without, without thinking twice. Like it's no fun. It's expensive. It's just, it's just not, I don't have to drink anymore because I like, I don't, I don't work around that, that industry anymore. See all these Twitch streamers doing doing drinking games and stuff, and I'm just like, man, y'all y'all crazy. No, thank you. I'll be here with the cool kids and just not do anything fun or interesting. <laughs> Sit here and play the Binding of Isaac. The sack room here, we could definitely play it. So what's interesting about sacrifice rooms here is that it just doesn't there's no difference between a victory lap and a non victory victory lap you're still going to pay the same amount of hp regardless and hollow ground look at this we're going to be able to get even more stats here next to rock bottom that is insane okay well our tears rate is now 12.5 that's good pretty pretty bueno I think the Jason Nader dunk rating is continuing to climb. Now, obviously, I'm not like, I'm not just blasting people who do love and enjoy drinking and that sort of stuff. Like, it's, hey, you do you. Whatever makes you happy, go for it. That's what I say. Just because it's not for me doesn't mean it's not for you. I'm certainly not going to malign anybody for doing what, what brings them joy. Um, oh my God, dude, what is happening? This is getting out of control in a hurry. Well, Dead Eye is going to increase our floor even more here for our damage stat. This is. Where did this run come from, man? I was not expecting to have this type of run today, but I'm I'm all for it. I'm 100% for it. Look at this. Yeah, things are just dying instantly now. I don't know what's over there, but it's going to die eventually. If I could fit that in the title of this video, I would, but I don't think it's going to work. Dude, death didn't even have a death animation. He just died. He's, he just was no longer a thing. Even death may die. Oh, my God. Now, this... We're, we're approaching the game might crash territory here. No red portal again. Yeah, this is... I am predicting the game to crash at this point. With this tier's rate, you know, like if, if Cricket's body shows up, I cannot take it. Or or compound fracture for that matter. I, I literally cannot take it because it's going to make this unplayable. And I'll have to probably end up removing it via the console command. But for right now, man, this is this is pumped up. I don't know. This might this might be in contender for the new the newest new 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 most powerful item or powerful uh, run of the year so far. That telepills might as well hold on to it. Never know. I mean, we are literally one shotting everything. Like they're dying before the flies can even get to them because our luck rating is so high. Uh, well, we legit don't even need. Empty Vessel or Sanguine Bond, for that matter. 
Oh, that that counts against us taking taking items here, redemption. Okay. Okay, whatever you say there, bro. Yeah, we 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 do not need to to tap anything else. Cuz it's going to take a while another we we've not gotten a red portal yet. It's going to take a while for us to actually raise our damage floor to the point of, like, being able to see damage upgrades. Which is not to say that that's, like, not, like, worth doing. It is worth doing, for sure. But in this spot, I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> I mean, how much more defeated can the game really get, you know? And I'm also, I'm also legitimately concerned about the game crashing. Jacob's ladder definitely should be looked at. I hope from a from a dev a dev standpoint, just from the off chance of us like you know avoiding crashing every single time we get it. The rock up there. Now, old Hushy is uh, gonna be old daddy very quickly. Quicky, quickly. No, I still refuse to do this room. Whenever I hear a mom hand. I just don't, I just don't feel like waiting. Like it just, uh, who's got that kind of time? Speed up. Actually surprised our movement speed is not faster. Boy, <laughs> we've got ourselves a surprise for old Hushy. Oh, hey, thanks for the red portal. Appreciate it there, card reading. Yeah. We go raise our damage a little bit more, even though we're not going to see anything. Oh my. Okay, we can't take. As much as I would love to take Hamel Lacrya, we just can't. It, it would with with this tier's rate and with Jacob's ladder. That's a that is an automatic crash. A guaranteed crash. Plus, science infection is going to be great here for this. Especially with uh, with Jello. Yeah. That might be faster than our other kill from Hush that we had last week. Oh my god, that was a that was a sub like ten second Hush kill. Holy moly. Hey, we got ourselves a red portal. <laughs> yeah, this one I think definitely qualifies for the new, 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 most powerful run that we've had thus far this year. Skinny Eye Mushroom does literally nothing for us. None of these do anything for us. Um, wow. Just, just wow. Wow. These kind of runs, man, like you got to cherish them when you get them. But the fact that rock bottom has shown up so often lately, like we're getting spoiled right now is what's happening. The game is trying to lull us in a false sense of security. And I know it. I know it's coming. I know this bill is going to is going to have to be paid one way or another this month. So get ready for that because you know it's coming. When it finally happens, when that bill arrives, just we gotta be we gotta be ready for it. Must be prepared. I think so many chests too. It's almost like we have Guppy's tail, but we don't. Like we don't even need to like be shooting something directly. They just die. They just die from the flies. The sheer amount of raw damage we have is unbelievable right now. It looks like we have triple, if not quadruple, the amount of damage that we actually have on paper. But it's because of oh my god, because of our luck rating combined with the combined with the apple, with those razor blades doing two x damage. That's the reason why it looks so crazy. And if you notice, we just started gaining damage there thanks to Dead Eye, and it's maxed out too. Wow. And that was all thanks to Cricket's head showing up. So our floor moved so much that it actually moved 
to the point of us getting more damage. So each one of those razor blades that you're seeing fire out there is doing 76 damage. And we're shooting 12 and a half times a second. Yeah. Yeah. And that's before Jello, by the way. Oh, Steam Sale. It's going to be very useful. Oh my gosh. Dude, the game is just... The game just doesn't even care anymore. Lost Soul Buddy, check him out now. Lost Soul Buddy, right about now. He's gonna die, check him out now. Do, 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 do. Where you come from? Oh, wow, what a, uh, what a run. What a run. So thank you everybody for watching this fantastic run. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you click the like button. Leave a comment down below. And again, remember to not only post your questions of the episode, but also, of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the anti-synergy uh, debate, along with what we're going to name the, the Sack Room Shuffle, Sack Room Salsa, or the Sack Room Shimmy. Post them in the comments down below. Have a great start to your brand new month here. And thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. Like thanks to patrons of mine like James Moeller, Barman 1988, Plop, and Katie Katie Bobady. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta.